Hello, today is something a little bit different. Uh, the last couple of videos from Staffordshire Black have been on the lathe, uh, ebonising um, a few bits and bobs on there. And being a wood turner, that's the automatic way I would do it. But I've been trying something a little bit different lately, and that is carving. Um, I killed a couple of Dremels a little while ago, and uh, I ended up splashing out for a Fordham SR and I thought I should put it to proper use and do some uh, proper carving just to see if I liked it and I love it this is my third attempt um, and I've ebonized with Staffordshire Black the first two attempts which I'll show you shortly but I thought I'd take you through the process of uh, doing it on something a little bit different to turned wood now I've just turned. I've just uh, turned. I've just carved this earlier today. It's beech. Uh, I've got, let's see, I've got a piece of the original type of lump it came from. Just regular beech, nothing special. Um, and we're going to go through the process today. So, because I'm not on the lathe, I'm wearing gloves because I'm going to be picking this up and manhandling it all over the place. Uh, if I think on, if I can find it, I'll put a, a picture of uh, my hands from the first time I ebonized a piece on the video and you'll see why today I'm wearing gloves. So here we go, let's have a look. First of all, protect your work surface. I've got a, a cutting mat down here and I've got some blue roll handy uh, just to mop up. This has been sanded down to 240. Uh, and one of the advantages of that is uh, normally I would sand me turn stuff down to 400 uh, which uh, makes a, a, a shinier surface which makes it um, which makes the ebonizing juices and tannin juices have to work that much harder to soak into the wood now with this being a 240 uh, it's gonna soak in a lot easier your tannin juice and then your ebonizing juice and to celebrate that fact I'm going to use a heat gun on it just to dry things off a little bit quicker because the juices I'm using will have already gone in there enough God, I hope that makes sense I was thinking about doing uh, voiceovers on these videos because I'm rubbish at doing the things anyway first off uh, tannin juice Staffordshire Black Tannin Juice, because this is beach, it doesn't have a lot of natural tannin in there already. In fact, barely any. Um, so we have to put some in there for the ebonizing juice to get its teeth into in order to start the ebonizing process. Um, we always recommend using tannin juice anyway, regardless of the wood you use. Whether it's oak, which already has a lot of tannin in there or uh, beech or pine or something which doesn't have the tannin in there. But nevertheless, we're going to put tannin on now, dry that off and get some ebonizing juice on there. We're going to start with the top. So there's that. Um, now what we're going to do is dry it off uh, the as I say before as I said before with stuff that's sanded down finer than this 240 um, it's best if you can to leave it as long as possible to let the the juices soak in naturally um, rather than get heat on there which will uh, evaporate it from the surface before it's had a chance to get in there uh, now don't hit the piece because that moves your phone uh, there you go um, so but because this is 240 the juice is already in there I, you can see it drying already actually and I'm going to get some heat on now just to speed this whole process up I'll do for now uh, it's not fully dry it doesn't really matter for these purposes for this purpose uh, now this fella I need to work on his hair a bit 
I'm not very good at that. So it's only the third time I've done it. Um, so you'll notice now that this is dry. Uh, the colour has pretty much gone back to what it was for the uh, regular beach. But now we're going to pop on some ebonizing juice. And this is where you'll see things start to take effect straight away. Okay, so you can see them changing colour straight away. And that's one of the great things about beach as well, because you can tell the difference uh, almost immediately, because it's such a pale wood to begin with. Um, again, we're going to get the heat gun on there. Because plenty, being a 240 grit, plenty is already soaked in there in order to start taking effect immediately. And drying it off won't make a huge amount of difference, but it certainly will speed the process up. You've got to be careful with your heat because too much can crack your wood. Um, so just keep it gentle. I'm just hurrying with this because I don't want to bore you for too long. I'm aware of how boring the previous videos are. Anyway, we're back to the second coat of tannin juice. And that's reacting with the ebonizing juice that's already on there. And again, as we say, with your ebonizing kits, the stickers have changed now, but with the ebonizing kits, where we supply a couple of jars, um, and it's always best to decant your juices into the jars, because as you're working on your piece, you, um, when you're brushing on whatever juice, you're taking off some of the juice you've already put on beforehand. So if you're brushing on ebonizing juice, you'll be taking off some tannin juice, putting it in your jar, and mixing it the whole lot up. So if you're working straight from your bottles and you're doing that, you'll be introducing the wrong juice into the wrong bottle. So in this one, for instance, you'll be emptying, you'll be introducing ebonizing juice into your tannin juice, and tannin juice into your ebonizing juice, and you're gonna end up ruin, ruining the bottles. So work from your little jars. Uh, and if you've judged it right, you'll probably have none left in your jars when you come to finish and you can just if you do have any left just chuck it out so there's the second coat of tannin juice we'll do another ebonizing juice and again a good soak and make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies And that's the second lot. And as you can see, he's come up lovely. Again, because we've done nothing else to it, it's a little bit, it's black, but it's a chalky kind of flat black. Oil always picks that up, makes it pop. Uh, same with your abrasive pastes uh, and sand and sealer. Um, they'll always make them make the black pop as well. I'm going to give this a, a third and final round of applications. It's still quite wet on the bottom there, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to give it a third and final round of applications, and then we'll call that done. And final coat of ebonizing juice. So that's him done. 
I'm going to stick this to one side and I'll come back to him later on because, let's see, dry my hands. Because in true Blue Peter style, I have one already done. Now this chap has had three coats of each. He's had three rounds of applications. So this is a fully ebonized piece of beach. He's had nothing else done to him at all. Um, uh, so we're gonna quickly oil him. And I'll show you how that will pop. see how that's bringing out the black that's the original chalkiness and then that's fully black so that's ebonized beach for you with Staffordshire black How's that look? Eh, it's all right. Uh, Staffordshireblack.co.uk. You can buy kits. You can buy single bottles if you run out. Uh, you can buy twin packs if you don't want to use your, uh, if you if you want to use your own brushes and decanting jars and stuff like that. If you've got any questions, it's hello at staffordshireblack.co.uk. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Uh, I'm always around to answer questions. Uh, if you have any, please drop me a line. But in the meantime. Uh, thanks very much for watching and nip on to staffjablack.co.uk and find out how to do this yourself. Thanks. Bye.